Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to May I Scrap Lift You. Now, this is the layout that I am scrap lifting. This is by Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. She posted this uh, layout yesterday or today and this video is going up on Saturday. So I really just loved it. Um, probably not going to be the same theme, but I love the composition of her layout. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys. So I actually gutted out that plaid paper because I want to use the plaid paper uh, as part of my photo mat. Now, I will admit my plan was to have the plaid paper as the entire background, just like in Christie's layout. But I cut down the plaid paper instead of the other paper. So... You got to do what you got to do. Um, I am taking some uh, Dilutions ink spray and I just painted the circle on to my layout. And now I'm taking a variety of sprays. I've got some Brutus Monroe, the Dilutions, and uh, some Distress. And I just put down the splatters. Clean up the, the mat a little bit. Clean up the mat. Like, the mat is filthy. So, now that I have uh, that down and done, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Um, definitely not what I was going for originally or what was in my head, but I really do like the way that it turned out. So, I mat up my photo, and that is, yes, that is boxed water. And if you guys have never tried boxed water, don't. It's nasty. Um, there is some sort of taste in it that is just horrendous, okay? Um, and that's saying something. <laughs> so I have this big blue airplane that has been sitting on my desk for probably two years. No lie. Um, it's been brought to... A, a, yeah, it's been brought. That's that's really, really uh, good English there, Sandy. Uh, it's been brought down to layouts multiple times, uh, and finally I decided it was going on this one. Now this uh, frame right here has also been hanging out in my stash for a while, um, but the outdoor adventure, like, saying on it just, I love the mountains and the sun, but the outdoor adventure saying just kind of, eh. So I cut it off so that I could use the mountain somewhere else, and then I still have the frame going on here. Now this is an Echo Park sticker book, and uh, Chrissy has banners going across her layout, so I did banners as well. I went and found uh, the biggest banners and put them here, and then the smaller size banners, I'm actually putting on pop foam and layering them right over uh, the larger banners. And I'm trying to make sure that um, there's a little bit of contrast between the banners. I don't want them to kind of like melt into each other. I want you to be able to look at that and see that there are two layers of banners on here. Now, in my mind, I don't know if I'm adding twine to this. Like, what am I doing to have these banners go bannery? Uh, ultimately, I decided not to use twine. I decided to use uh, some more stickers from this sticker book. Um, now, the sticker book has been amazing. I would not have even thought to purchase it for myself, um, but one of my good friends, MK, had sent it to me um, as a small little gifty thingy, and um, yeah, it's perfect. It definitely... Um, works for a lot of my photos because you guys know I like to uh, scrapbook airplane rides. <laughs> um, and this is actually on an airplane. So if I never said that, um, yeah, it's on an airplane. <laughs> You're probably wondering what the heck I'm even doing. I never even gave you that explanation. I'm so sorry. Um, so now I've taken these two stickers from the sticker book. Uh, one is just a red uh, kind of, it's got a little bit of a print on it, and then the blue um, humper sticker, and I overlap them together and cover up the banners right here. So what that's going to do is now that awkwardness where the banners 
ends are just chilling out there like it's not there anymore so it works um, I'm adding in little bits just where I feel like it needs it now Christie's layout has a lot of ephemera and die cuts and all kinds of fun things going on all over the layout and I want to have fun things as well I almost uh, put the flight attendant on there and took off that original sticker uh, but ultimately, I decided to leave the original sticker and not put the flight attendant on. Um, I had pulled out these puffy stickers. Now, the the hexagon puffy stickers are not from Freckled Fawn. Um, they're actually from Jelly Bean Soup. But you guys know I uh, once, once packages of stickers or letters or whatever... Uh, start to dwindle I do combine my stickers with other stickers um, it saves room there's less packaging chilling out and you know when you have less packaging you have more room for actual product um, so those are um, there I say all that to say yes they're all there so now I add on some of these map print stars um, from Studio Calico. These are old and have been in my stash for a long time and now it is time for the title. Now I was going to put the title right on top of my photo but I decided that it would look better down here um, and yes the title is uh, does have WTF in it um, but it did need that question mark so I put the question mark down and then I get the WTF down and then I need to find some tile letter stickers to make the rest of my title. Because my title isn't just going to be WTF. It's going to be, I mean, WTF. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down. And then there's this little place uh, between the painted circle and the hangover of the um, two stickers that I layered up where I'm going to place my journaling and talk about how much I hate boxed water. I put the date on top of the globe and then that is going to do it for this video you guys. Please make sure you check out everyone that is playing along with May I Scrap Lift You which is an amazing series started by the fabulous Crystal over at Pineapple Papers. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.